Alright, guys, they're playing some Caitlyn top lane in the new patch versus a Mordekaiser. And what we're running in this game is Fleet, Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, Biscuits, Cosmic, and also with a Ghost and a Dorrance Blade. This game, I want to show you how to carry with Caitlyn top lane, plus we have the new buffs. Um, which is quite hilarious because Caitlyn top lane is actually a champ that I've been recommending for a long time now. And funny enough, they're actually bringing buffs to Caitlyn, which is uh, kind of meant for AD carry. Like Riot doesn't know about my secret pick, you know. Caitlyn top lane is not in their book, so they also don't know that they're buffing my, uh, you know, my off meta pick here. But I'm loving it. I'll show you this game. We're going to have a lot of fun with Caitlyn top. Funny enough, I wanted to play Caitlyn right before they buffed the champ. <laughs> no. No, they basically brought down these buffs. That makes my day. I'll take on like more here. Uh, yep. I could like fit in like an auto queue, but I would have to flash to make that work, which is in my opinion not really worth it, I would say. He's gonna go for that last set, probably. Let's drop it down. Specifically where your opponent's gonna farm is precisely where you want to drop down that Q to ensure you're actually going to hit it. That's typically how you take care of your Q. How you can always land it. It's very obvious to where your, far uh, where your opponent's going to farm. Hmm. Another one. Yeah, you probably get the point now why I love Kid in the top so much. And the fun part is that we also have... Uh, oh, their jungler is bot lane. Nice. So we know precisely where he is. Not bad. Okay, another Q. We've been hitting all Q so far. Not bad. I need to force this one, though. I think probably a jungle gang could make us get the kill here. The problem that kind of remains though is that this guy does actually run teleport. So th yeah, that makes it slightly more difficult. I got him. Oh. Oh. I don't think my biscuits would have saved me. I should have tried though. I'm, uh, I'm being a little bit greedy with my biscuits here. This guy did survive my auto attack. I'm actually kind of impressed. I thought that he was not going to survive that stuff. Turns out, he did. Unfortunately. But yeah, it is what it is. Not much you can do about it. Okay. So, what I'm thinking about in this game is... Um, I'm uh, partially thinking about going for Infinity Edge. But I'm also thinking about going Storm Racer first actually and then after storm razor we will adapt so we're we'll see we're gonna see how this is gonna go i want to prioritize the storm razor storm razor is a very solid item it's gonna be a tough matchup though once uh mordecai has to reach level six um everything will slightly change not necessarily much worse. Okay. Well, that's not bad. I've got the wave pushing into me. Now all I have to do is just hold it. Because then I can further deny even more last hits, making me win the lane even harder. So we're chilling. There you go. Pop in some traps here. The traps are the most fun, especially when your opponent doesn't know what you're doing with it. Which I hope is going to be the case right here. I hope he's going to walk in the brush. Max range. Pretty much max range all day. That's all we're doing here. And now we're going to make sure we slow push. Hmm. 
Now let's try. I'm using the brush to reset the wave so that the wave is not going to focus me. So when I auto him, I just enter the brush and then we can cancel it out. I've got my ghost back in about 30, so we can actually play very aggressive here. Hmm. Nice. The fear is in bot lane, which means you don't have to place a ward down. And we're about to get the first plating here. This guy can't play. I'm loving it. Hmm. Hmm. This it's getting way too close. It's getting way too close, man. But I got him. Goodbye. See you later. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about slightly. Like, he would eventually press R and then just you know, walk up to me and then there's not much I can do. That's like the, like, one problem about Mordekaiser, but it's also the only problem. Because everything else about Mordekaiser is dodgeable. Like his Q, his E, everything is dodgeable. And we are pretty long range. So that's not, it's not really something that I'm, uh, necessarily worried about. Not really. Let's go back here. We will buy the Berserker's Greaves, but I... Also need this one. There you go. Two pots here. And let's get back. So currently we got double the farm. We're absolutely demolishing lane. It's not a big surprise too because Caitlyn top lane, believe it or not, is one of the best champions if you're looking to win lane since you're long range. Um, especially when your opponent is a champ that doesn't have any type of like dashes or whatever. Like, it's very hard for Mordecai to walk up to me. This guy is having a very bad time. Got the wave pushing into me. Pretty good. Now, let's just see where this guy's going to come from. I'm uh, specifically placing the traps inside the brushes so that he is unable to walk in them. And I'm going to start maxing my W2 now. Got some damage off. I don't have lifesteal. Which is like a slight issue here. We can zone him out completely, by the way. I'm getting ganked right now. Well. I need, I'm gonna need help here. Oh. Cheap, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. That's uh, slightly what I'm worried about. I need to get counter ganks. Stuff like this can happen. I wasn't like I wasn't worried about getting ganked by Nefiri though. But like I was getting roamed on by Aurelia. No problem. In terms of like farm, we're like double the farm ahead of this Mordekaiser. We just got to stay very consistent. We unfortunately die by Aurelia, but like, it's okay. Like, we can recover from this. It's fine. It's whatever. We can definitely recover from this one. Um, He did actually get the kill, unfortunately. Yeah, that's kind of sucks. I need like 1.2k more to get my item, by the way. Let's push this one. Nice. Aurelia is in mid lane. Let's see if we can actually get a plating here. Hmm. Well, I got it. And now I'm getting the Fury. Hmm. Hmm. 
I need some help here. I will not tolerate lawlessness. How much gangs do I how many gangs do you want? Like <laughs> Man, the Caitlyn man. Caitlyn is a uh, is a champ that people want to gank like that's definitely one thing for sure. Every time I play Caitlyn, I'm getting permacamped. There's no avoiding it. This champion makes people want to start ganking it. I'm uh, I'm uh, truly honest here. Nice damage. Again, pretty good. Let's try. I want Nocturne to spawn in here so I can kind of like make this lane better. I cannot afford to falter. Yeah, so trying, I guess. That's kind of what happens when people have a shield. Oh, I'm about to get our Rayliad once again. Wait a second. That's what I was worried about. The Aurelia is top lane all the time, which is okay. That's that's absolutely fine. Let's go back here. We just got our Aurelia. It is what it is. But our lane is looking very good. We got like almost triple the farm at the moment. We are really far ahead now. Let's go for this one. Let's build pickaxe into this one. And the strategy is going to slightly change now because, as you can see, we're consistently getting wrecked by Nefuri as well as Aurelia. So what we're actually going to do is we will consistently push top and mid at the same time as of a result. It's going to get me exactly where I need to be. Um, I guess we can probably kill these people. Oh. Got him. Hmm. I'm down to press this. Yeah, I still got my Q as well. I didn't even use my Q. I'm loving the Caitlyn buffs, man. I don't know. I've had such an easy lane this game. And it, it's always like that. Every single time I play Caitlyn, I have such an easy lane. Because the range is so large. The range is just so, so good. Like, you you can auto from so far away. There's almost not a single champion that can get to you. This is always how it goes. Every single time. Nice. Get tower as well. Now let's get this one. I love how Aurelia is consistently looking to try and fight me and fails every single time. Beautiful. I'm not even pressing Q for this guy anymore. And then they go for the surrender. I don't know, man. I've had one of the easiest times in my life blanket in top lane, man. My lane was so easy. Like, I, I could do blindly, man. I, I was having such an easy time. And it's always like that, man. But yeah, this is uh, Caitlyn Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.